Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if it's the first time you are visiting. Thank you so much for joining me today. If you couldn't already tell by the title, today's video is going to be a little bit of a vlog. I am currently on honeymoon in Mauritius, so I hope the audio is okay because I do not have my normal microphone set up. I just wanted to share with you what fragrances that I took with me on vacation, plus show you a little bit of what I got up to whilst I'm here in Mauritius. So there's gonna be like clips and probably a little bit of a voiceover, but I thought I would start with showing you what fragrances that I bought with me on honeymoon. So if you like the sound of that, then please do keep on watching. The first fragrance was a no brainer for me, although I will say I was tossing up between this and another fragrance, which is in the same category, but I decided to go with this one because I feel like I resonate with it the most and it feels like the most me at this point. Plus it is perfect for a tropical vacation. And the fragrance in question is Ylang in Gold by Mikalef. And if you've smelt this one, it is very much a tropical yellow floral with fruity nuances. Definitely always transports me to a beach anytime I smell it. So of course it was a bit of an obvious choice to bring with me on vacation, specifically to a tropical island. And I wore this one out to dinner last night. I haven't really been wearing fragrances during the day here at the moment, just because it's really hot and we have been spending a lot of time in the sun, whether it be in the pool, by the beach, swimming, that kind of stuff. So I don't feel like I need to wear a fragrance. That's just me. Although that being said, James has definitely been wearing his fragrances during the day. So Ylang in Gold is, as the name suggests, a Ylang Ylang dominant fragrance. And this one kind of reminds me a little bit of a banana pina colada. It's definitely a tropical floral beachy scent. And it's got these really pretty gold sparkles in the juice. So when you spray it on your skin, it just leaves a little bit of a shimmer, which I think is actually really pretty on holiday, especially in the evening. This is perfect, perfect, perfect for a vacation. So I'm not gonna stick on this too long. I'm not gonna be reviewing it because I'm just here to tell you what fragrances I've bought with me and why. But the first one was Mika Left Yelang in Gold, as I've already mentioned. And this is just a big fragrance love for me. So I wanted to bring it with me on honeymoon and have some special scent memories with this one also. The next fragrance that I bought with me is Wilhelm's Mango Skin. And I definitely wanted to bring a fruity scent, something a little bit fun and uplifting. And I've been reaching for mango skin quite a lot in the past month back home, specifically a layering combination, which I shared in, I think it was my latest Obsessions video. And I have bought that oil with me too, but I have worn mango skin on its own. And I just think, again, it's perfect for a tropical vacation perfect for the hot weather. Just imagine sitting on the beach or having dinner with a cocktail and you've got this beautiful kind of creamy yet green sour mango scent. I just think it's a very good beach fragrance. Yeah, I really, really love this one. Mango is definitely one of my favorite fruity notes. It's a little bit sour, but it does have a creaminess. It's slightly green too. So yeah, mango skin had to come with me on vacation. Plus, as I mentioned, I also brought an oil with me and this is the Nest Seville Orange Perfume Oil. And I think this layering combination is absolutely delicious. I've mentioned it in a different video. I will link that video down below. Now I haven't worn the Nest Oil on its own yet on holiday. We've been here, I think, five days and I haven't reached for it yet. I don't know if I will, but I wanted to bring it with me because it's a really gorgeous, sweet orange oil, as the name suggests. And it is just a perfect layering oil for any kind of beachy fragrance or floral fragrance in my opinion. This would work really well with Ylang in Gold. And as I've already suggested, this combination is absolutely incredible. So yeah, I bought the oil with me, whether or not I wear it, 
I don't know, but I wanted the option to wear it. So yeah, the Nest Perfume Oil in Seville Orange, and I love the other scents in this range too. I have not tried the Balinese Coconut one yet, but I do really wanna try that one. So hopefully I'll be able to get my hands on that one soon. But anyway, let's move on to the next fragrance. The next fragrance I have definitely worn the most since I've been here. I've worn this at least four times for dinner and I have worn this to breakfast one day, I did remember that. And it is none other than Initio's Musk Therapy. Now you might be thinking that doesn't really sound like a beachy scent or a vacation scent, but I really think it is. It's the kind of perfect, easy reach, smell clean and fresh not too overpowering, it's not too sweet, it's not too fruity, it's not too floral, it's just perfectly balanced in my opinion. The perfect clean girl aesthetic fragrance, cool girl aesthetic fragrance, but just a great easy reach everyday one. So if you watch my channel, you probably already know I absolutely adore musk therapy. You will be able to find many, many reviews on my channel, but yeah, this is definitely my most worn since I've been here. It's clean, it's musky. There's a little bit of fruitiness, but not a lot at all. And yeah, it just smells like fresh laundry to me. It's musky, it's gorgeous. And this was one of the easiest decisions I made to bring with me. Could be my most worn fragrance this year. I'm not sure, I don't really keep track. I should start doing that. But yeah, I brought with me Musk Therapy. The next fragrance is from Experimental Perfume Club and this one is called Cardamom Moss. And I featured this in a very recent video, which again, I will link down below, but I decided to bring the 10 mil travel size of it. And I kind of packed this specifically for James or I told him to pack this one. We both love it and I think it's a perfect vacation scent. It's fresh, it's aromatic lots of cardamom as the name suggests, it's got moss. The video I included it in was the fresh and clean video. It's very long lasting, projects really well. It's got this kind of ambroxin feel to it and slightly that sponge sugar vibe. I can slightly liken it to Baccarat Rouge in some instances, even though the notes are really different. I've smelt this in the air when James has been wearing it and I have thought it's Baccarat Rouge from a distance. Now up close, they don't smell the same, but it can give the same kind of vibe. However, this one is much fresher, perfect unisex scent. James has worn this already on vacation. I haven't worn it myself yet, but yeah, we had to bring cardamom moss with us because it is gorgeous. And the last fragrance slash fragrances that I wanna talk about arrived just before we were about to leave for the airport about 30 minutes before and I quickly put it in my suitcase because I thought it would be a really good chance to sample these when on holiday, when I have the time to really sit down and review them or sample them, test them, all of that kind of good stuff. And here's the package. I'm gonna show you the back side just because my address is on the front. And this was sent over to me from My Perfect Scent, which if you don't already know, is a new UK retailer, online retailer, which stocks hard to find niche brands. And it is owned by Gabby Loves Perfumes. If you don't already know her, I will link her channel down below. But she launched a new store, which is stocking really hard to find brands in the UK, which I am so, so happy about. I just ordered a fragrance yesterday as soon as they posted it on their Instagram. I've been wanting this particular fragrance for such a long time, but it is extremely difficult to get in the UK. You have to pay really high shipping fees and really big customs fees too. So when it arrives, I will review it. It's a complete blind buy. I don't even know if I'm gonna like it, but I had to purchase it. Anyway, I thought I would get into this with you a little bit just on this video and show you what's in here. I've not sampled any of these yet. So the first one is Baklava by Pearlescent Parfums. I've actually heard of this one and I've heard of this brand, but I've never tried anything. So I'm gonna spray this one on my hand. Why not? It's a bit like a lucky dip. Ooh, Ooh interesting definitely nutty, 
sweet. I can see where they're going with the name Baklava, but it smells a little bit boozy to me at the same time. And a little bit creamy. I get kind of like a whipped cream feel. Kind of chocolatey, maybe coffee. Hmm, interesting. I will have to sample that one a little bit more in the future. I will sample these properly, maybe do reviews of, oops, dropped it on the floor, maybe do reviews of them in the future on my channel, but I just wanted to show you what had been sent over. We have Giardini di Toscana Celeste. I think I saw Gabby talking about this one two days ago. I think it was this one. So I'm excited to try that. We've got Kajal Dahab. Hopefully I'm pronouncing that one correctly. We've got Kajal Almaz. I've never tried anything from Kajal, so excited to sample these. We've got Imaginary Authors Yesterday Haze. And there's two more in here. I can't read that one. Oh yeah, Feod oh, this is Theodorus Calatini's, and I think it's Jasmine something. And then Rue Madame 1782. So these are all the little samples. You can also get decants on My Perfect Scent if I didn't already mention this, which is really, really cool, especially if you don't want to blind purchase a perfume like I did yesterday, but I couldn't help myself. So yeah, thank you so much to Gabby slash My Perfect Scent for sending these over for me to sample. Really, really kind of you. I was not expecting this parcel either. So when it arrived, just before leaving for the airport and I could see it said it had come from my perfect scent. I was like, oh, what is this? So yeah, that was really exciting. Please do let me know if you wanna see any more detailed reviews of these fragrances. I will, of course, sample them probably. All the baklava is settling down a little bit and it's got a little bit sweeter and the booziness has kind of died down a little bit. But yeah, they were the fragrances that I bought with me on my honeymoon vacation. Let me know what you think about my choices. Were you expecting to see maybe something a little bit different? Yeah, I would love to hear your feedback in the comments. I wanted to bring more, but I was like, realistically, do I need to bring more? No. And I could easily have just bought one of these fragrances and been content with it because I'm someone who personally likes to build a little bit of a scent memory when I'm on vacation. So I don't wanna be wearing too many different scents. That's just my personal view. So we'll see what one that will be by the end of this trip. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed seeing this. Hopefully I'll be filming other little clips within this video. If not, I will do a voiceover of the other clips. But yeah, this was a little bit of a different format for me I'm not used to doing it. So I hope you enjoyed it. This was pretty much my standard breakfast every morning, minus the gluten-free bread, because it was a little bit strange. And then I just wanted to walk you through some of the incredible views at Paradise Cove. They named this place really well because it truly was paradise on earth. I could just sit and look at the views all day long and not get bored. I am such a visual person, so it just made me feel at peace looking out into the ocean like this, especially when the sun was rising or the sun was setting. It really was a beautiful, beautiful place to go on honeymoon. Would highly recommend it to anyone maybe thinking about visiting Mauritius. It was also an adults only place, so that was a bonus point. Random little clip here of us just walking on the beach just because. And then something I thought that was really cool about our hotel is they had all these little areas called love nests and they were dotted all around the hotel and they all had brilliant views and they were pretty private. They were more private areas than what I showed you. We are just on a little pedalo here because I love doing stuff like this and it was cool to just go out in the ocean and pedal around in the ocean, I guess. And then this clip was just us on a glass bottom boat. We went to 
see if we could see any fishies over the corals. It was a bit of a windy day, so we didn't actually get to see that much, but we did see some cool fish. This was one of my favorite things at the hotel. These are weaver birds and they made all of these nests. It's super, super cool to watch them building these nests, very intricate, and the birds were very pretty too. I would say this was my favorite place at the hotel. This was one of four swimming pools and they were all infinity pools, but this one just had such incredible views of the cove and of Mauritius. I can't remember what the islands were called across the ocean, but really cool to look at. This was another one of the really private love nests. And as you can see, there's a little deck here where you can get into the water and go for a swim. There were so many of these dotted around Paradise Cove. And I just love how much privacy you have as a couple to just really relax and enjoy. And it was just really, really peaceful here. So that was it for the Mauritius honeymoon vlog. I hope you enjoyed this video. It was something a little bit different, but I would love to hear your feedback down in the comments below. Have you ever been to Mauritius? Please do let me know where you stayed and what you did. I'd love to hear your feedback. And also please do let me know if you like this kind of format. Would you like to see more kind of casual vlogs from me, whether it be a day out in London going to an event or going perfume sniffing or just kind of simple stuff like day in the life, just let me know. I'll be more than happy to think about recording new types of content because I do want to mix it up a little bit. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you have a wonderful day. I'd love to see you all soon in a future video to come. See you all soon and goodbye.